Hey, my Legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here today to tell you about my absolute worst experience in a checkout lane. And this was a doozy. This was something out there. And uh, it's not picking on a cashier or something like that. Even though you, there are good cashiers and bad cashiers. We all, you know, just sometimes they might bag the groceries wrong. Like this one... Uh, Cashier and sure fine, I bought uh, some fried chicken uh, hot from the deli and said, can I put your frozen stuff in the, the hot food? I said, I, I would rather you not. You know, stuff like that. Uh, and then when I do go through check, check, I mean, sometimes it'll, it'll seem like you always pick the wrong lane, right? You always pick the lane that goes the slowest. And there's other lanes and you always pick the one lane that goes the slowest. And I usually... I usually do not like the self uh, express uh, checkout lane where you just check out yourself and you scan it and bag it yourself. I usually prefer to, to avoid those. I know John likes doing them. I've done it a few times, but I think it takes someone it takes to someone's job. And, my, and then if you have a problem, you have to go back to, you have to call someone over anyways. You know, I'd rather just go, you know, to the regular cashier, you know. That's what they're paid for. I mean, that's what they're paid to do. You know, do that. I don't want to take away someone's job. Well, anyways, this happened a long time ago. Maybe, I think we went to see, uh, this went way back when Dad was still alive. Uh, we went to see G.I. Jane. That's how, how old it was and old long ago this was in Meadville. Yeah, I guess, uh, I mean, I went to that theater in Meadville. It's like the Village Cinema. It just showed two movies. It's a very old theater. Um, and then I heard someone say it eventually closed down in like 2012, 2013. But I remember going down there. I saw Titanic down there too. And, uh, we went to Save-A-Lot. Now Save-A-Lot's different. Now Save-A-Lot has no self-checkout lane or anything like that. Yeah, it's one of those, uh, grocery stores where you have to bag your own groceries. I mean, they'll pack it. They take another, it's one in, they have the thing with the shopping cart, you put a quarter in and then you stick the thing in and then you get the cart and you push it and stuff. And they take a cart and they just fill it with the groceries. Then you have to take it on the, like this big, they have like this big table and you either have to ba uh, buy bags or they have a whole bunch of boxes. And that's how they save on like tearing down boxes and stuff like that. You can use the box and put your food in the box and take it. I've done both. I've done that too. Uh, well, anyways, this was that save a lot. Man, I couldn't believe it. And of course, Maggie's using a litter box. And uh, we in line. And they only had one cashier working that day, which is insane. They had a ton of people there. And we were trapped. There was like this one lady, and then a cart, us, and then like five carts behind us. So we were trapped no matter what. And like I said, there was the only cashier they had open. And it was an Amish lady. And we live, you know, Pennsylvania's Amish country. Uh, you see Amish, I mean, sometimes all over the place in different places, you know, a bit different stores and grocery stores too. And uh, it was an Amish lady. She bought like a whole bunch of food. And she was trying to pay by check. And the guy said, I think the guy said, either we don't accept checks or you need ID. And she didn't have any ID. And I said, my checks are good here. My checks are good. I said, you need ID. She didn't have any ID. I think that's what it was. But I mean, whatever it was, they weren't ca they weren't going to catch your check. And she kept fighting with them. That I, I want you to take my check to pay for this food. And they had like managers come over, talk to her and stuff like that. And it was taking a long time, 15, 20 minutes. You can imagine people getting f frustrated, you know. With this woman. I mean, no one said anything, though. But it was getting aggravating. It's like, what's going on? I'd, I was getting frustrated. My dad was getting frustrated. I mean, no one said nothing, though. But, I mean, the doozy is this. You know, they said, uh, you know, we can't accept your check. And finally, the woman kept arguing with them. You, you have to accept my check. And then I, I felt bad for her. I thought maybe she didn't have any money or that's the only way they paid by check. And it just kept going on and on, like 15, 20 minutes. And then all of a sudden, she said, all right, you're not going to take my check. All right. She went in and pulled out a giant wad of cash like this. 
and the whole line gasps. Everyone gasps like, <gasps> like that. I couldn't believe it. I mean that that I, I, everybody was pissed. I mean, they didn't say anything, but uh, you can hear everybody was pissed. They were saying stuff under their breath. They did not say anything to this lady. Thanks, Maggie, for doing the litter box while I'm trying to do a video. I imagine how he catch Cat Archie is now royalty. He must have a royal litter box now, a golden litter box. Well, I'm getting off topic. But, Maggie, she put out that giant water cat. like, oh, my God, what? I was shocked, and then Dan and I were talking about on the way. We were pissed. Uh, everyone else was mad too. It was like, what? I and then and then when she pulled the water cat, I was looking at other people like, like that. I couldn't believe that's probably the worst experience ever in the checkout line. I mean, I've had a couple other episodes where people being, where I mean things are just taking a long time. You know, there's always time when you have to wait in line and it takes a while for whatever reason or their computers are down or whatever. But I mean, this was the first. I've never seen this happen before in my life. So, I mean, that's my absolute worst experience in a checkout line. I thought I would do this little video. I mean, and I was curious, um, if you have a bad experience in your ch in, uh, in a checkout lane or whatever, please uh, comment below. You know, let me know. I'll, I'll check it out. I'll make it a little more interactive and stuff like that. So, I hope you like this video, everybody. Until next time, please. Take care, my legion.